got the ability to make all hard work look like easy work. So all work for me is easy work. Madonna, we don't make easy work out of his ass, so. Ooh, we. That boy better be ready. Please let Marcos Madonna be 100% healthy in this fight. I don't want no excuses. Excuse my language, guy. But I got to give him this ass beat because you blessed me with the talent. <sighs> Thank you so much. <sighs> you know the difference between me and Big Bro? We got that that you can't teach. You can't teach it. I haven't did in this sport yet. I got a long way to go. This is just the beginning to my start. It's only gonna get worse for you haters. A.B. All Benjamins. What's gonna happen to my Donna, man? My Donna Mulling Lopez! I know what I'm going up against. A steak is tough. If you beat it long enough, it'll be tender. Damn, we're going I gotta convince the world that I am what everybody's saying I could be. The next boxer to take over the game after Floyd Mayweather. I don't say I made a 360. I say I made a 720. And I'm not gonna pick up this chance that God gave me. You can listen to one of my songs, and you can understand why I act the way I act. I killed that. I don't know why God gave me all of this talent. When I came out, of course they booed at first. I mean, it's Texas, a lot of Mexicans, but you can't deny talent. At the end of the night, man, they will be cheering for Brian. I don't know if he's faking like he don't understand English, but after, after I came up December, December 14th, he's gonna speak English. We ain't worried about Madonna punk ass. He gonna come to fight, that's cool. I'm gonna you up though. Yeah, and at the end of the fight, you will say, good fight, you a bad mother. You gonna speak some English. You might not say them exact words, but I guarantee you speak some English. And I'm done. That's what he gonna say. He ain't gonna say no moss. Nah, he gonna say that, I'm done. That my good. I don't go what Madonna about. Easy work. We was to fight tomorrow. I just hope Madonna's healthy, 100% in shape on his A game. So we know what y'all hear from. You know why? It ain't because they like me. It's because I got talent. So guess what happened when that talent go away? All access go away, showtime go away, all the interviews go away, but guess what? I'm gonna stay on top for a long time. So you motherfuckers gonna be around. Strong right here, this strong. They say I ain't taking the fight serious. They say AB out of shape. Okay, we gonna let him meet my little friends. Hey, bye. Hey. When that motherfucker start crying, what we gonna tell him? Shut up, bitch. Yeah. yeah. What's the motto? We don't get tired, we get money. Damn right. We're not in for the short run. I'm gonna stay on top. Ain't nobody gonna beat me, and that's how I'm living. The world gonna see an Adrian Brunner they ain't never seen before. All the things y'all thought I couldn't do. I'm not playing. I'm f***ing him up. Yo sé que él está favorito acá, pero no me importa. Me he cruzado con los leones. Él todo no peleado con los hombres. ¿Verdad? Para ser estrella todavía no, no le ganó a nadie. If he chooses to use it and if he stays confident in doing that, he's going to have to get active. Oh, wow. 11 of his 22 KOs in the first of two rounds. And there's the right hand lead by Maidana that sticks. Another right hand. Broder goes down for the first time in his career. He's hurt back. And he's hurt. We're going to see what kind of character he has. Oh, and the left and right by my daughter. I don't know if Lawrence Cole called oh, that a knockout. Right, 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 right. by my daughter. Another right hand by my daughter. Broder looking to hold on as he backs away. Oh, oh, oh the whole The whole guy. Broder for the second time in the, the fight. Yeah. 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 But he's been knocked down twice. Yes. Felt a lot of power. Yet he still tries to come forward. And the Having suffered the first 
loss of his career, exiting the ring, being knocked down for the second, first two times of his career, and the crowd here not showing much respect. As Broner makes his way back to the dressing room, losing for the first time. Round one is all Barrera, as Prince Nassim takes several power shots. A pick to fire that is basically harder and a better puncher and more dangerous than Barrera, Mala, Morales, all of them guys, and they never came to the table except Augie. Damn, right. I'm looking good. All right. <laughs> Barrera and Morales, many observers feel, will be fights that really define you as the great fighter you want to be recognized as. Yeah. When do you think you will get in the ring with them, or vice versa? Listen, I told you, and you know, Larry, that I wanted them in the ring for this fight, and they wouldn't come. Now, you can tell there's a little bit of a thing on my throat, but you know what I mean? I came to the ring as a champion, as a five-year celebrating my reign, and that guy tried to destroy it. But Morales and Barrera will come 2001 when they want it. And when they want it, they'll get knocked out, because I want it now. I want Barrera next, I'm going to knock him out, and I'm going to make history and bring it back to Sheffield, bring it back to England. Whoop, there it is. This is going to be a tough fight. Yeah, I mean, it's, it seems to be a very, very tough fight on paper. But I'm very, very confident, cool, calm and collected that I will dispose of my opponent and take him out in style. <laughs> so is, is fear not in your vocabulary now? So fear. What is it going to be? Yeah, fear is. Fear Allah, you mean? Who else can I fear? Right, Apart from Allah, I, I can't fear any human being. What's a human being going to do to me? Got two arms and two legs and a chin like me. Being here, being in the, I'm in the best possible condition that I could ever be in. Everything. Say, say he does take your shots, and it is a long, hard trench warfare. Then, sort then of he battle. just gets beat up. But longer than I expect. Después de esa pelea va a soñar como el patrón de barrera todo el tiempo. He says with his, all his talk about how he's going to knock me out and all the things he's been saying, he said, tell him to get himself prepared well because after this fight he'll be dreaming of Marco Antonio Barrera. Allahu Akbar! Allahumma! Allahumma! La sahlan! La sahlan! Illa ma ja'altahu sahlan! Illa ma ja'altahu sahlan! Wa anta ja'al hazana! Wa anta ja'al hazana! Barrera boxing, not just waiting in, gets to the body, wobbles nails with a left hook upstairs. Looking in. Big left hand by Barrera. He is boxing and picking his spots. It's a very interesting choice of fight plans by Barrera, and he's making it work very effectively in round one. He's landed two big left hooks upstairs and a couple of shots to the body. <laughs> round one is all Barrera, as Prince Nassim takes several power shots from the Mexican star. Shades of the Cesar Soto bout in Detroit as Barrera hey, hey, is hey, either pulled hey, down by Hamed hey, or pushes him hey, down. The Prince is the aggressor. Right hand on a left. Barrera is fighting the way he is. Barrera lands a jab. Stay away from that left hand. Big left hand by Barrera inside. He hasn't got in one position yet. Ooh. Like he's doing more damage to you. Rather than saying, there you are. He's been thrown off. Huge left hand. Let's go. You want a solid fighter like Bar Barrera doing. Clowning with a clown. Big Don't... right hand to the body again. But he's starting to pick up the power. Naz stalking and trying to land that left foot. Counter punch, counter punch. You see, the Prince just will not finish up with a shot. Very professional. Big left hook by Barrera. 
with the left hand, but he hasn't thrown anything with it. Can you believe the odds on this fight with three and a half to one? I Can you believe 28 out of 30 writers picked him in? Where is the respect for Marco Antonio Barrera to turn it against him? Math will not come back with any shot. And the English crowd is seated and quiet. He wants to close the show with authority. His corner told him to just box, and he's not taking that advice. He's going for it. One left hand won't do it. That's true. Too much shin. Barrera pounds Nassim into the ring post. Big left hook by Barrera. Marco Antonio Barrera. A sensational left hook. And so much for the notion that Galloway didn't have the power to knock Mayorga down. Mi chiquito, si siempre toda la vida te dice que Mayorga taunts De La Hoya, and tensions quickly mount. Mayorga is a guy about whom you could develop a serious hatred in 10 or 15 minutes if he chooses to rub you the wrong way. He intensely believes that a huge part of this is the intimidation game. I am more man. I have bigger huevos. He's not a matador. He's a bull. When I was vago, when I was jefe de pandilla, and me agarraba con puñales, y esto es con hecho, no es mentira. Yo no juego con muñeca como Oscar. Ni estoy debajo la falda de mi mamá. Oscar likes to project a certain dignity. He's a perfect target for somebody like Ricardo Mayorga. He'll do everything imaginable to get, try to get under Oscar's skin. He wants confrontations. He wants Oscar to trade with him. That's going to give him the best shot of landing something big. <laughs> Was my strongest hand is my right hand. He was, you see his eye? I'm going to detach his retina. <laughs> you remind me of an old lady that's past her prime that just could sit home in a rocking chair doing nothing. He goes, I'm the champion, and are you going to, you're going to be my bitch in my, in my bed whenever I want you to be. Remember that. Yo tengo partida acá de maricón que tenés. He goes, I'm going to bust up your face. I'm going to make you my little bitch. Remember that, I hate little bitches. And I'm going to make you my bitch on May 6th. He goes, I'm going to, on May 6th, no one's going to be able to recognize you. Just remember that. Your face won't look the same. <laughs> And there's some personal stuff here too. Don't forget the Oscar didn't be Shane. He tried twice and he lost. This guy has the dirtiest mouth I've ever heard. Every press conference we did, I mean, just saying absurd things. Dile a tu mujer que te dé huevo en la mañana para que te pare a pelear conmigo. No te vayas a tirar como cuando te tiraste con Bernajoque y Playo. No sabes ni representar tu raza, maricón, por eso. Mira, todos los latinos van a estar conmigo. He started talking bad about Oscar's family. That really, really pissed Oscar off. Tú le faltaste respeto a dos cosas que yo amo. Dos cosas. Ayer dijiste algo de mi esposa. Sí. Y ahora mencionaste a mi raza. Y con eso no se juega. Y te voy a noquear. Mayo 6, te voy a noquear. While De La Hoya's fire has clearly been stoked, Mayorga's passion is just as intense. I'll just use one example. It's about 7 in the morning, and he's calling us to go to the gym. That's unheard of with him. He wants this one bad. He really wants this one bad. He wants not only to beat Oscar, he wants to destroy him. His business with Mayorga has become personal. He 
got under my skin. That's really pumping me up to really give him a beating. Oscar know what he's up against. He know that this guy come to fight. I think Oscar gonna train hard as he ever trained in his life. Or he got to he got to try to train to save his life. Mayorga has spent the past two months immersed in his most intense training program to date. A loss would be devastating. Losing to a reckless wild man like Ricardo Mayorga would be the most damaging loss of his career and would suggest it's time for Oscar De La Hoya to consider not fighting anymore. It's what Mayorga brings to the table. If he loses, he's going to lose spectacularly. If he wins, it's going to be spectacular. Whatever happens, he's, you're going to see a brawl. I just don't think we're going to need the judges for this fight. They don't touch gloves. There's been a lot of drama leading up to this moment. How much drama will we have in the rest of the fight? May Ayoga has to have a lot of loop room. He's going to try to beat him with short punches. Sensational left hook, and so much for the notion that Delaware didn't have the power to knock my organ out. That was a perfect shot. He leaps on his toes. It's always been his most effective punch. Yeah. It lands again. Two more shots to the body, and my organ just grabs him and pulls him to the ropes. Where's the 20 month layoff? Where's all the ring rust? Delaware is seldom looked better than this. Perfect right cross. Here's the right cross again. His punch count is dropping. Now he throws three punches and takes a left hook to the body. Gets brutally clipped, clocked with an uppercut. Perfect shot. He keeps jabbing. There, there he goes. Go. He's one of three rounds. Three to nothing. Oscar. Mayorga got in the shot in between. Two beautiful body punches from Deloy. It was not that super impressive. It was a very close decision. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people thought Brennan could have gotten it. Deloy lands two brilliant left hooks. Yeah. Because of the fact that he caught so many punches. Brilliant jab. Oscar showing a multiplicity of punches here tonight that we haven't seen from him in some previous fights. And the left hook just keeps on coming. Deloy with a four-punch combination to the body. Two quick shots upstairs. Down goes my arm again. Second knockdown of the fight. Oscar Deloya has more hand speed than Ricardo Mayorga, and he's proving it face to face. is over. A great performance by Oscar De La Hoya. And as I've said before, Jim, when a popular fighter who's had problems comes back with a great performance, it's all the problems have gone away. Look at the smile and <laughs> listen to the crowd. Boxing gets a great, shot. Great, great, great finish. And he will fight again. Oh, yes, he oh, will. Oh, yes, he's a fight again. <laughs> a tremendous performance. And but the 33-year-old golden boy. And once again, <laughs> the bully, when somebody stands up to him, goes down. Three knockdowns in the fight. And on the third of the three, referee Jay Nady simply said, that's that. No, great, great finish. Where did this stand on the... Spectrum of all of your victories in boxing. You know, it's got to be ranked up there like top top four, top five. Um, the fact that he was talking so much, the fact that he, uh, I mean, he even talked about my wife. He talked about little Oscar Gabriel. And so it had a lot to do with it.